Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I end up getting both of my mystery boxes from Jeffree Star. You can see the one in the background, <laughs> the bigger one. I forget the size name, but anyways, I got both of them. So I will be technically unboxing them today, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox, well, publish the first one today and then publish the second one tomorrow. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, you like what you see and so I don't think I like it. But let's start. It is the black box. Let me get some information on this. This is the deluxe. I got the size and large. This is 140. And let's see. The deluxe contains 10 items. I don't know. It doesn't say what value it's supposed to have, but let's see. What it looks like. Oh, okay. There's stuff in here. Okay. First is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Unicorn Blood. From what I understand, he loves putting pretty much every mystery box of his. Unicorn Blood is in every mystery box. Oh, but it's still pretty though. I can see why. It is super pretty. I'm not swatching anything because I have to determine what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. But Unicorn Black. Another item is the gloss. In the shade Six Feet Under. So I'm assuming this will be the silver color. And if, I, if I'm correct... This is from his, um, cremated, um, uh, is it called cremated palette? Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty, actually. <laughs> if you were doing a Warble vlog like I did last week or the week before that, this would have been perfect gloss. <laughs> I love his packaging. I'll give him that. Oh, his packaging is so pretty. I can't close it. But number two. Next, number three is... A Velvet Trap lipstick in the shade Firestarter. Okay. I like, I don't know, I like the packaging. There is the shade. Looks like a fire engine red almost. And the magnetized too. I like magnetized closing for some reason. I don't know why. It's very satisfying hearing the click. Item number three. Next is the Supreme Gloss in the shade Wifey. Hmm. Okay. I like the colors a lot because the colors are to me in the middle they're not too bold where you literally only wear them for Halloween but they're bold enough you can to me you can wear them there are very they're still wearable shades I would say I know others would say the opposite but I, so far the colors are more wearable uh, next item is the velour lip scrub in witch's brew I love that. Now here we go. I was kind of hoping like, what's a Halloween name? Well, Unicorn Blood is these definitely um, Halloween-ish. But Witch's Brew. <laughs> I love the name, guys. Okay, I am opening this one because I do like lip scrubs. Here's what it looks like. I mean, that definitely looks like a Witch's Brew. The scent is very, I can't, it's familiar, but I can't put my, I 
can't remember, like, it reminds me of a scent, and I can't remember the name of this, what it reminds me of, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping this. This is a, so far enough for sure. Okay, that was I mean, this. Let's go to this bag. ASMR, guys. <laughs> oh, is that what I call it? Whatever. It looks like a... I don't know what A makeup bag. A bat makeup bag. Oh, this is too cute. I think I might end up keeping this. Like, this is Halloween-ish for sure. I love it. I just, mm-hmm. I love this bag. This is another keep. Jeffree Star Skin. After years of formulation and testing, the skin care line, skin, the skin care line you've always dreamed of is almost here. Coming soon. Okay, guys. Apparently, Jeffree Star is re gonna release a skin care line. Uh, oh, if you're a Jeffree Star fan, then coming soon. <laughs> if you're not, then okay. <laughs> Okay, I know this is going to be in the box because he did say that um, this palette was going to be in all three boxes. It is the Weirdo, Weirdo Artistry Palette. I love how they take time with the packaging and then I feel so bad about ripping it apart. <laughs> I really do. Like, oh, all the time they took and I'm just going to rip it apart. <laughs> So, a uh, picture of him, I'm assuming? Yeah, yes. Okay, so it's, ha yeah, like grayish colors pretty much, gray scheme with a pop of red. It looks like kind of a burgundy wine color. Okay. I know he released the Weirdo Collection. So it is cool that he put his Weirdo palette in the mystery boxes. Next is this, another palette. And it is Blood Sugar. I don't have this palette. Here it is. His packaging is like two way. I love the packaging. I'm a packaging whore. I really am. But then it's like, it is so bulky. It takes so much space. I don't know. Blood sugar, I think, reds. It looks very neutral, guys. Very, very neutral. Because you have, like, essentially all your neutral, 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 and then you have, like, pops of colors. I don't know. But it's a palette I don't have. I mean, so far we're going good with in terms of a palettes that I don't have. So the repeat has not started. I'm pretty sure because about two boxes the repeats will happen. Like the weirdo, I know that. So that would definitely be decluttered and put in one of the mystery boxes. Next is the Jeffree Star open here for nudes oh, okay these are the mini velour liquid lipstick and here you are guys <laughs> so the shades are i'm nude birthday suit top shelf christmas cookie hidden hills dominatrix 
Family Jewels, and Tasty. Okay, let's see if I can... Okay, so... Tasty. This is Family Jewels. Dominatrix. Hidden Hills. These are definitely nude colors. So if you're a nude color person who loves it, this would have been perfect. Christmas Cookie. Top Shelf. Birthday suit. <laughs> this is definitely a very nude color, so that's appropriate. <laughs> and I'm nude. We got that. And last thing in this box. Shirt. Here it is, the front, just plain, then you have the design, here we go, yeah, I'm gonna make sure, I love the design on this back actually, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> the Jeffree Star clothing items I <laughs> give away to Goodwill because, I don't know, they weren't my style, but this one, this one is a keep for me, I'm liking this. Ooh, and it feels nice since... Okay, this shirt, I'm actually going to keep. <laughs> so, guys, for this box, I got the shirt. Uh, Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick Set. The Blood Sugar Palette. The Weirdo Palette. The Gloss. A Velvet Trap. Unicorn Blood, a Lip Scrub, a Supreme Glass, the Bat, bat Makeup Bag. That's a tongue twister. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. What are my thoughts on this? It depends on what your situation is, meaning if you are a Jeffree Star collector, this box may not be the one for you because if you have an extensive collection already then you're gonna get repeats and you know that's just how it goes when you have an extensive collection of any brand if you're someone starting out you don't have very little or no jerky star honestly i say uh, uh mystery box is the way to go then because you get a whole bunch of items for way less than if you had bought them individually but again it is a mystery box so <laughs> you're gonna have to be in very open-minded about um what you know, what comes inside and you're gonna have to know that there's probably gonna be stuff in there you're not gonna like or use and there might be stuff you will and some in the middle so just have to have an open mind but i actually like this box a lot now, I'm not going to lie, a lot of the lip products, I don't know if I'm going to keep because um, when I do my declutter, you're going to see all my lip products and it's a troll is horrible how much lip product I have. And I don't even use 20% of, actually not even 10% of it, less than that. The only lip product I ever use is lip scrubs and lip balms. That's it. But I have all these lipsticks, uh, lip liners, lip glosses. Uh... <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to see. I already really know probably a lot of these lip products are not going to end up staying at all. They're going to end up in mystery boxes. About, I'm almost like 95% positive that's what's going to end up happening. Not because I don't think they're bad or anything. It's just I have way too much lip product and I don't use them. So time to, you know 
figure out what I'm going to use, what I'm going to do with them. But, a little bit of a tangent, but let's, um, yes or no. No, because it does relate to the fact that everything I'm getting, even this, is going to be part of the declutter. So, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. Bye.